Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're now listening to the mind of an Antares Moon. Flight boss, the Archangel Uriel. And I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucker responsibilities. And right now, we're going to talk about the barriers, a.k.a. the bringers. That's right. We're talking about the barriers. Now, these are as known as the bringers. Now, before we get into this, I want to make two disclaimers. Now, the first one right here, so we can get an understanding on how to, how to understand this. Because, you know, you got things like the light barrier and, you know what I'm saying, the water barrier. So, I'm going to give you a clear understanding of these things. Now, what is a barrier? aka a bringer someone who brings or have certain information that can help mankind which is a kind of man not the actual man and woman like how I be saying in my videos now like I said they they're not necessarily the actual element itself like when you say water fire air you know what I'm saying they're not actually the image itself but these people either have enough information about the element or they know how to come in a way based upon what kind of spirit it is and how light a body it can take or how or how lower lords lower physical form a body it can take regardless of what body it can take you know it it plays out a certain representation of a elemental energy in a way that can help people so for an example uh fire that it deals with transforming something in your life and healing something in your life when we start to get the medical science or Vedic astrology and things of that nature and it's correlated with the snake we're gonna get into everything when we talk about um, water that's dealing with the emotions and the feelings and the vibrations and things of that nature when we talk and um, all these is just different forms now the bringer is a person that see now it comes into one of these elements but utilizes it as a tool so for an example when we got you got the air element that deals with communication, relativeness, intellect, right? So say you came up with a language or say you came up with a different concept. You utilized air as a concept. So you will be like an air bringer. For an example, but you will have a name. For an example, if you want to get religious, right? For the person who comes and say, I come in the name of Jesus, or they say that they come in the name. These is, this is a person that's trying to come in the shape of form or come as a representation of that Jesus spirit so uh, what you would call this you would call a preacher a Jesus barrier you know what I'm saying or things of that nature or the, the Jesus bringer it bring, this person takes the shape and form in order to bring into the info, bring the information into this world from that spirit nature now that spirit can utilize bodies now how you know there's higher spirits and lower spirits higher spirits um, now spirits that know how to take baby spirits that take lights and, and gases and sounds as as body forms to come into the physical realm they're still light bodies so they are they're inexperienced so that's why they don't know how to take a bigger they're trying to experience all a bunch of realms of realities to, to come into dimensions to be able to create a physical form to come into in this reality but you have certain spirits that preceded them that then that got offsprings and things of that nature right that understands and know how to take bodies without getting lost in the light which is the which is your body not getting lost in the physical form the sound so they know how to take control they, they know how to come in and out of existences and take control over large masses like the the biggest influence they could the influence that they have can take over multiple people they become over souls and things of that nature so you know this is when we talk about spirits now when we talking about the bringers the, the barriers. Now you have the light barrier, you have the water barrier, you have the um the air barrier, right? You have the uh fight and the fire barrier and the earth barrier. Now the light barrier is the only one that's a that's a that is the only spirit that it's itself but it utilizes lesser spirits and lesser bodies and things of that nature so this is another thing we need to get clear before we actually get into this now as far as you you as a person right now to a lesser life and I ain't even talk about bugs or things like it's like life out here that you can't see people will call them spirits no everything has a spirit but this is what you need to understand to lesser life right you are like a constellation in that realm you're like a constellation 
So say you was the, and then it's an overall big authority spirit, right? The bigger shapeless form that's able to take on all and control all these bodies as they come together, right? This is why you have, uh, you have all your bodies and pieces of you come from different places, different locations in the astral realms and formulate different parts of you in different constellations for different purposes. All, all of you is a bunch of constellations put together. So <clears throat> this is why you have different things that work for different aspects of you. So each of these aspects, now look, cells in you and organs are lesser, right? So they have their own life. So it's a spirit that control each piece of you and its own life. And since you is the sh big spirit that inhabits up here, you're the bigger spirit that can inhabit this whole universe, this whole, your whole transverse, your whole universe, your whole galaxy. So you control that from the mind space, which is your God spirit, which is you, you. Now, for the, cause you've been experienced way more than everything that you're developing on you. So for the most part, say you was to die right now, if you was to die, this body of light dimmed and transformed. Now each piece of it is going to, when this body get transformed and go into the dirt and transform, it's still a life. It's still living organism, whatever like that. However you want to call it. Um, however it correlates to the frequencies that is in once you think it's dead and however it goes now for the most part each each piece right once it gets transformed there they are bodies that spirits can inhabit lesser lesser spirits can inhabit you see what i'm saying so all these different spirits inhabiting all these organisms that's coming together to create an organ and there's an overall organ a uh, spirit that can control that whole thing you see what i'm saying there's a hierarchy now as above so below so this is what makes you understand that when you see light bodies like the sun and the, and, and, uh, the planets and the stars and shit, you know that the sun is just a body that's, in ha that's constantly transforming but getting inhabited by different spirits as time go on. You know what I'm saying? This is why you got different sun warships throughout the civilizations, but they got different names for them because it was different spirits that was going on in, in that nature. Now, so look at it like this. That life became into the bigger life so as above so below so a lot of things that that's talked about in mythology that will be perceived as something that may have walked on earth or something like that now they walked on the land is that they didn't die transform and they're the bigger life so when we look up that's what we perceive so but we're perceiving everything from the being that we are in so now that you understand that the being that we are in is where all of this shit is going on. So since we are small beings within the whole totality being we are in, which is Aries through Pisces from a tight knit, your head to your feet, but the overall being that we are in traveling and it's realm of reality and world that is looking at, since you understand that's the world we're in, everything I'm finna break down about the barriers is all the life that's going on, our life. We're the beings within this so in this whole totality of this being that we're in, not the whole totality of the universe, this the being we are in, this is its hierarchy and lows. This is the, the, the world, how we are perceiving it. We will be God and devil and things of that nature. So this is where you would get all our knowledge from. So, so we're just perceiving it after it stops. So now that we break this down, let's get it, let's get it in. Now the light bringer. You can go do your research on it. You want to say Lucifer or whatever like that, whatever. The Morning Star. Now, this is the only one. This is the only spirit that didn't get lost. Actually, this spirit and all of us, even you, are offsprings of this spirit. For you to even be in this realm of reality, you are in. You are an offspring. You're spiritually before you even get before you even had took a physical body spirits get birthed also so your spirit lineage right was birthed by the Lucifer frequency now you need to get out your head all this negative things and things of that nature all this confusion about uh, Lucifer as being Satanism and they know they're two different things Luciferianism is a whole different thing but I don't even want to dive too much into that because that ain't really got nothing to do with what I'm talking about but it's it's the they're trying to, but what you need to understand is when we're talking about um, Lucifer, the light bringer. Now, this is a spirit, a powerful spirit 
that know how to inhabit bodies without actually take without actually getting lost into one form. So they play out into shapes and forms of different individuals that you may come across every day. Now Lucifer, this is representing like anyone. Now anyone, this is why I say you are offspring of that spirit because you have these ideas and thoughts of this. So this is your and not even physical, your spiritual um ancestor. Now as far as like the frequency vibration of it and Every everybody has the ability to be consciously aware. Anytime you enlighten, anytime you enlighten somebody about something, or bring light to a situation, or you know inform somebody, bring uh, you know point to something, have a point of reference, be able to be consciously seen. You are a light bringer, so you are a Luciferian. It doesn't matter, and whatever you try to kick it. Anytime you enlighten it, that's why it's important not to be too consciously aware about everything, because you could be blinded into what you're consciously aware of and get lost into that form. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be careful of that. But as far as the spirit, now this spirit is very powerful, and um, it's it's actually the ancestor spirit to your spirit. So this is why you always hold kind of influences or energies of this so when you say things like all religions and all of them this is this is when you say um, I got the light or anybody who's trying to find the light or I'm following the light <gasps> or I need to see the light or the light is within me and things of that nature this is uh, people who and this is where you get exorcism from people being getting possessed from or things of that nature is from this spirit because when this spirit take goes into certain people based upon an a, a individual person's spirit is going to be how this energy is being played out now the spirit only likes to be in hard motherfuckers like people who know how to take the shape and form on w what they actually trying to do so people who got the mind state up and they're they got conviction and things of that nature that's the only kind of uh people this spirit likes to go in now for the most part so if you have a if you lined up in your natal chart real good or you got some type of inspiration that you can get or you have a lot of fire in your chart and things of that nature or even water because water uh, receives light um, and fire push off light so you know it, it's, it's a little dynamic that's another video before we get into that though but um, as far as the light bringer uh, the light barrier which is the uh, yeah, the light bearer, which is Lucifer, this is a spirit. Now, this spirit is able to inhabit different people's bodies, and but people who who can seem conviction, and once it takes go into that person, that's a person who'll be like, oh, I got the spirit. That's where Holy Spirit come from, and things of that nature. And this person is getting ready to make you consciously aware of something, or indoctrinate you about something. And this person is coming into the name of something. You see what I'm saying? So you have to uh, be careful. Uh, Lucifer comes in a lot of many different shapes and forms. So anybody who give off any kind of light. So you know, sometimes we have Venus giving off a certain amount of light. Venus will be a light bringer. Every anybody who's uh who give off any the sun, anybody who give off any kind of light shows representation of them being possessed by the uh by the Lucifer spirit because you you have a piece of that spirit with you. See what I'm saying? So that's to get people to understand that. So that's that's what a uh the light bringer is. It's actually a spirit that comes in, that know how to take the forms of light but it's an experienced spirit see once spirits get lost once spirits experience so much life right they end up taking heavier bodies heavy and, and intaking them and, and and being able to sustain their position in whatever body that they're in to experience that realm of reality forever this is where you get uh this is where you get heavenly bodies like saturn and stuff like that the spirit that's in saturn is a spirit being that wants to do that you see what I'm saying? And it's and and it's utilizing Saturn because Saturn is enough physical form to take over certain amounts of realms of realities. You see what I'm saying? So when you look at the light the light bringer can even work through Saturn. But see, planets like Saturn that's so heavy and create realms of reality, they get dimmer. They get more solid. They start not being able to reflect they start being able to take bodies without being able to reflect light. So that it becomes more of an issue to control them. They become more unseen. They become heavily celestial bodies that you can't even see without no form of uh, reflection. And these motherfuckers is powerful. They know how to sustain themselves and become into the uh, vibrational yin realm, but still be physical. Like these motherfuckers know how to be between two worlds at one time. You gotta be careful of those motherfuckers. But um, that's getting into a whole nother video. You know what I'm saying? But when we talk about um, like bodies like like the sun and things of that nature these are spirits that's like 
they're not baby spirits so they don't they're not inhabiting uh they don't they're not trying to find physicality they know how to get in and get out and and play certain realms of realities in order for it to it's like a hierarchy it's like same way how everything is controlled here under these lords planet stars whatever like that they have a hierarchy then they have a hierarchy and the, the, it's like the bigger the hierarchy you know what i'm saying so we control all of them on top of them we may just perceive it as one star, one planet, but once we get in that realm of reality, it's probably billions again, and things of that nature, once you get into that same level of consciousness. But that's the light bringer. Light bringer, uh, the, the, anyone who plays into a representation of expression, something that you could be consciously aware of, that's a light bringer. So, you know, the most dominant uh, light bringer that we perceive here on, in this realm of reality will be like um, the, the sun, and things of that nature, and the other planets. But... This is just a spirit that Lucifer's spirit working through these motherfuckers to carry out its duties and obligations. And this spirit that don't even have to take a physical form itself. And it, it knows how to not get lost in any physical form. It knows how to stay in the spirit realm. Now then you have the water barrier. Now the water barrier is actually um, G Ganymedes. Now Ganymedes, what is that? That's G-A-N-Y. M E D E S. Now you know the uh, this person may have died and spread it out, and this is what we call what we have related to, and what we have perceived as the Aquarius constellation. But the Pacific aspect of this being is actually a moon star that's by Jupiter. Now this uh, this being right here is a um, is the water barrier. Now reason why it's the water barrier. And it's representing of Aquarius qualities because Aquarius is a male-like attribute. It's air. So the qualities is male. So it's going to be played out in the characteristics of a male-like. But the water is dealing with the emotions and feelings in the yin realm. So this may be a very emotional or maybe or a very um, attractive male-like figure or a person that's... Uh, when we say attractive, y'all get lost into physical shapes and forms. Attraction is just a person or a being or a spirit that's able to attract things in their life very fast so when you got things taking a lot of shape and form in this world um, look look at people who have a lot of beauty they, they, they at, at, they're attractive nine times out of ten they know how to they attract a lot of things in their life that doesn't even deal with their attraction physically see everything is spiritually this is what people have to understand so if you're spiritually attractive it don't matter how ugly you are in the physical shape and form you're spiritually attractive so people are gonna always have you on their mind people are gonna always be attracted you you gonna cause people to uh, you gonna cause a female to be like I don't know what's up with well, he ugly as fuck but I just like him or and vice versa you gonna you're going to cause a dude to be like, man, she ugly as hell. She ain't got no body or nothing like that, but she got a cool-ass personality. You know what I'm saying? It'll it, it go on many different realms and routes. But, um, you know, in this form right here, this plays out in the characteristic. Now, this was a person that have got um, kidnapped by an ego. That Now, the ego, this is a constellation also. It's all in the stars. That have came down and snatched this motherfucker up for Zeus, which is Jupiter. Because Zeus liked it, this motherfucker, and start fucking, Zeus was a pedophile, start fucking these motherfuckers. Now, I need, I need you to understand this also. When we talk about planets and evolutionary of life, once you be able to take one of those vessels, see, it, you're only male and female if you play more characteristics of a certain, a certain energetic frequency. But you have both traits. So it's like, if you want to look at it in your, in your world down here, in this lower, lesser world, you could say something like a hermaphrodite. But in that world, it's not perceived that way. So if you are in a relationship, if you are a planet or, or a star, in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimensional life, if you um, it, it goes back to like let, let me go, let me not go that far. But look, if you are in the fourth, fifth, sixth dimensional brain wave of life, and you have a alpha star, a gamma star as a brain that you have created for yourself, now for the most part, um, you're gonna you it's you're looking at it like if you're in a relationship, it's just because one planet or star is playing more characteristics to the feminine energy, and and then one is, and then you have some that's gay, two planets or stars that's together, but they're still showing the same similar, both both of them maybe female or, or both showing the male energies, and you know when once you get to the sixth dimension, see as a fourth dimension though that's an oversoul, a fifth dimension though is a planet, a planetary being. So once you end up one of these celestial beings, your 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 lessons in those in those experiences is to learn how to self sustain sustain and create uh, self-orientatedly like I mean that ain't even a word but self-sustainably how to uh, create by yourself create life by yourself without needing but see that's a hard thing to do so you you might have to experience thousands of thousands and trillions and trillions of years once you get to that level of life of learning how to sustain yourself and um, 
be able to reproduce without joining of the two, but you're still going to have to do it to a smaller degree. Once you fully master it, you can become a six-dimensional being, which is an actual star, a sun, a light being, where you, get, you don't actually need to correlate with another sun or planet to actually create. But then you have a, a bunch of fallen stars, aka suns, that reach that level, but they don't want to leave their position, so they constantly fucking all the other planets and stars. You know what I'm saying? And, and just to create realms of realities and families and shit. This is where you get all this fa This is why every time you hear a celestial story, you always hear, oh damn, it's, someone, it's somebody's great nephew, aunt, uncle, king, uh, Queen, that's the that's the sister-in-law of the of the lesser three nephews that gave birth to the 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 super the the grandmother. You know, say you'd be like, God damn, is this a big ass family story? But that's that's why it's like that to get you to understand. This is this is how stars has even developed. But this is the mysticism, the the my story, the mystery, the myth of how they are developing and. When we take in the shape and form and diving too far in the physical realm of it, this is where we get lost into being too scientific, uh, losing our imagination, and then being able and putting all your spirit into this shape and form to the point that you don't see nothing else but this pattern and you stay into this existence forever, which is a hierarchy here on the land that's doing it as far as the government, and they're just taking the information from the planets that's doing it, that our solar systems, and then the solar system taking the information from that, and then y'all staying in forever cycles that you don't have to. Because your spirit is always going to know. Your spirit is always going to understand. But you get lost into losing the mystery, the my story, into history. And everything becomes pantheism and, and male. And everything's become uh, all the physical things is the forms of representations of God. Where the, even the first physical thing ain't even God. And in your realm of reality, the first physical thing was just this first shape and form that the motherfucking Lucifer spirit took. And that and it's just the spirit, the first body it took. That body... Lucifer then took so many different other motherfucking bodies and in, in, in these existences. He even <coughs> even took the body of Saturn before, took the body of Venus before, the sun before. This Lucifer, the light bringer, is the only one that can motherfucking do that shit. Because it's in the frequency realm, the frequency vibration realm. This is the story that's not told. This is why in all y'all religions and shit, it always start with the the uh, the physical energy realm. It skipped the it, it skipped the frequency vibration. It skipped the, the spirit in the rainbow waters. And how that and how the spirits created uh, the, and how they separated from themselves and went to war and how they how how that separation became space, aka the rainbow waters, which is certain locations that these battlefields took place on still resonate with certain freak energies. Uh, and I don't even want to say energies yet, but certain resonations that play out characteristics. And then once the shape and forms could be made out of that, right, certain bodies could be took that play out those experiences. Now spirits cling on to certain experiences, so they. Keep going over the same locations in the astral realm, the same spaces, going over the same spaces, the same rotations that they have been in already um, spiritually, but they want to experience it and stay in those locations. For an example, say me and you are spirits, right? Before we was bodies, right? Now, we're creating the rainbow waters. We're creating space. So you're going your direction. I'm going my direction. All of us is relating into this area in certain ways. But we're creating the space. We're creating the expansion in general. Now, within the rainbow waters, many different shapes and forms could be made out of it because these, these, once we're making this space and keep traveling over and over it, right, the different experiences is being or being added to the previous experience of that Pacific location. Now, this look at it we got a bunch of different lands and locations now because of all this space we created by us going separate ways or joining together and joining in packs and going against this this spiritual idea and concept and shit like that now within that little mix and expansion and contraction shapes and forms is being took out now these shapes and forms is being brought down into into densities within the rainbow rainbow waters aka the, the spaces that we're creating the, the vibrations within these spaces is what's being felt when we was relating. So if we was going to war or we was coming together or we was relating in some type of way or we was separating in some type of way. And each of these spaces go, still carry those vibrations. Now, the more and more each of us do that, the more and more added on realms of realities to these spaces. The heavier it get, more shapes and forms goes down. Now, we're still up here doing that, but as the more space comes down, more things is being took in shape and form. Now, a lot of us, we're supposed to be free. But a lot of but a lot of spirits are cling on to certain to certain vibrations and they never want to leave that space. So then they get into that space and just swirl swirling out in that one space and keep taking a bunch of bodies in that space to the point that that space that space and the vibration that it represent and the feelings of in that rainbow waters that it, that the shape and form the shapeless and formless is taking a bunch of different shapes and forms. That is that representation that spirit likes that 
So it becomes a pleasure or something like that. So once that goes down, 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 so many realms of realities, that spirit can get lost in all those lights, all in those physicalities to the point that it never want to come up for breath air. It never even want to leave the location and the space of what's being created from those feelings and those manifestations out of the rainbow waters, out of that whole space. So a, a spirit can get lost in that space and separate that space from where everybody else at that's continuing creating space. You see what I'm saying? Now, as all those bodies and shapes and forms, now that spirit have other offsprings, that spirit have follower spirits, spirits that like that like that space and location, aka that filling rainbow water area, um, and hot and that that experience and those lights and shapes and forms that is that's coming and accumulating out of that, those bodies, aka bodies, stars. You know what I'm saying? Those spirits get enticed and follow that one spirit, which, which end up going to take the biggest body, and they all follow in that motherfucker and all get lost. You see what I'm saying? And then they all motherfucking get lost and shit. Then they all, then they get so lost, they end up taking shapes and forms that they don't ever want to leave, and they scared to die. And then they start teaching other people how you you're just this. Or they teach all the followers that you're just this. You're just physical. You either a cell, your spirit a cell, also in some way or shape or form. <laughs> Y'all all lost with this motherfucker. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers can't come back. You see what I'm saying? And then, and, and then y'all be trying because this, that's when y'all start realizing, damn, am I following the right thing? As soon as your spirit give your physical body that those kind of ideas, your physical brain that kind of idea, that lets you know you lost. Then, then you're going to get frustrated. You're going to start hating the world you in. You're going to start being like, God damn, why I'm here? Who brought me here? I didn't mean to be here. You start wondering why you're experiencing all these woos and woes and shit like that. <laughs> that shit started in the motherfucker. See, that's why I, I am going to write a book. Because all religions start on the energy realm. They, they don't start on the frequency and the vibration realm, which is the spirit realm. Your spirit was born first. And your spirit went on ahead and started creating a bunch of bodies for experiences. But a lot of y'all spirits was just follower spirits. And y'all got led here and got lost into the physical forms here. And then y'all got people teaching y'all that your fucking spirit is this shit. You're going to be lost forever. <laughs> you be lost for fucking ever. <laughs> shit, you got to get the fuck out of this shit. Now, look, check this out. Now, look. Uh, the fire, the firebringer. This is Asclepios. Well, I don't even say it right. A S K L E P I O S. Now, uh, this is um, by Chiron. It was raised by Chiron, but this is like a star that's kind of accumulating and controlling the whole constellation of Fucus. You see what I'm saying? So Fucus would be the, the snake barrier. But the snake barrier in mythology represents fire. This represents the spirit. So anytime you, you're going to hear any religion talk about the spirit, they're going to correlate it with the snake. So if you go to Christianity and they talk about the snake, the, that's, the snake is correlated with um, bringing some form of spirit, bringing some form of information. You want to go back to ancient, ancient days, it's going to go talk about the Kudalini and something rising up. The, and then you want to go back to uh, science, it's going to talk about the, uh, the sperm cell and the, uh, the sperm cell going in. But all this is just correlated to motherfucking um the snake and the snake and all these are just physical representations of the first kind of the first kind of body a spirit can take which is when we look at separation when a spirit take a body it separates from the spirit realm it goes into the physical realm so it can take the form of sound light gas uh, and then they could experience those realms all the way to it could take physical or big planetary bodies or stars or 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 you you see what I'm saying now for the most part when we talk about uh, 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 the snake now it's going to be dealing with healing and it's going to be dealing healing spiritually or or healing in general so you got a lot of people who, who try to utilize this in the physical realm this is where you get uh, doctors and you get anytime you go to the hospital you see the snake going around a sword or something that's like the medical sign right there um, right there this is, uh, this is for like it's, it's it represents fire it represents fire now fire is like the the physical representation of spirit. So when you look at fire, it's shapeless, formless. Um, it dances, but it disappears if it has nothing to attach to in the physical realm. You know, it, it dissipate. Now, where does fire go? You see what I'm saying? It goes to the frequency realm. Same way water. Water is the physical representation of soul. Or any any form of fluid is a physical rep representation of vibration. And any form of... Um, a vibration and a flame is just a, a, a version of a vibrate a frequency that's vibrating so it's not even really vibrating but you see it vibrating but it's like 
but that's another video. So for the most part, this is what fire represents. So anytime you see something correlated with a snake, that represents fire also. And it represents when you look, when you do ancient science, or even when you just really think about what's the actual concept of the snake or the dragon in general, it's just any type of being or any type of body. It could be a celestial body, any star, it could be you. Anytime you show any form of separation. And going and going within yourself and, and separating yourself from the pack, that's what a dragon is. So you could be a dragon or whatever like that. We may correlate it to a bunch of other things and it may have manifested into bigger things and it may have been greater things before you. This is where you get the Draco constellation and things and the serpents and the sextants and stuff like that and Hydra, the water serpents and the Negas and mermaids and shit like that and the, and the centaurs. But for the most part when it's all correlated to uh, the spirit nature now this the spiritual path and uh, the offspring also this this spirit itself was birthed by the Lucifer spirit itself and the physical shapes and forms and the bodies it like to take is with it, and with spirits control like the Draco constellation and and the constellation and the solar system we're with it we're the offsprings now for the most part when you talk about fire and the snake this is dealing with um, it's also dealing with, it's not dealing with actual seeing like the light because it comes from that. So this is actual the physical representation of what you can feel from the light. You know what I'm saying? Too much light, it becomes hot. Or it becomes, because fire ain't light, but fire can be accumulated out of light. This is why I was getting to where fire, uh, fire gives off light and water absorbs light because they're correlated from the same kind of energies. But when you look at fire, now fire represents a situation like this snake it moves like a snake so it's, it's the spiritual nature and it's also um, it's healing and and it's gonna deal with a lot of um, helping people realize the light because you actually can see the shape and form of what the light is taking once you see it in fire form and once you then you will see it and that's like a then you'll see it in water form and then you will see it then you know the little baby that comes out of that is like air it gets to relate the two it relates the two it bounces the two together like fire or water that's the air it relates the two and once it relates the two things can become dry and that's when you get shape and form in earth so you know this is why fire represents hot uh water rep uh fire represents hot water represents wet air represents cold and earth represents dry and i'm gonna do a video on that too so people can fully understand that now, also when we get into, um, you know, uh, Earth. Now, Earth is, Earth is Astraea, A S T R A I A. Now, Earth. Now, this being right here was Earth at one time. You see what I'm saying? But once this be, once the spirit, once the the physical form died, the spirit, the and and the the body of it has spread out and. It will be perceived as the constellation of what you think is Virgo today, right? But the the spiritual the spirit of the being that was once Earth became the shapeless, formless, odorless spirit. The smokeless flame became so big, it's able to inhabit a bigger body now. So it's able to inhabit a lot. We're the lesser life, so we see it as being spread out, and we see all the individual spirits taking the individual body parts. But as a whole, that individual spirit is the whole constellation that we're not perceiving as Virgo. We're not perceiving that. We're just perceiving the, the relative nation of it. So for the most part, uh, this the, that overall spirit that once was Earth is big enough now to take bigger bodies. You know, it's, man, it take, to us, it's like it took the whole, uh, whole constellation of, of planetary shit that we are on as one now. You see what I'm saying? Now, when we, and, it, and, it, and that spiritual being uh, controls the whole, like, almost pelvic area of a little above the pelvic area of of your, like the pelvic area would be like the Libra area then down there once the growings and the, the sexual organs that would be like the Scorpio but that's getting that's getting into another video but as this overall being that we are in the spiritual being that run all those organs and stars and the Virgo constellation and shit like that once was just earth when it was a smaller spirit it only could take the body of, of as big as earth once it died it went on and it, and when above all that influence is heavily still impact us as we're here in the lesser form and whatever spirit is controlling this being we are in now after it and transformed and shaped as a body the spirit that's controlling this body right now is maybe a, a younger uh, a younger female spirit well your spirit ain't really male or female it just takes shapes and forms of but it, it, it 
it correlates to what it more resonate with when it takes the shape and form. So, you know, the spirit was on a side of another being and going in certain rotations spiritually that it took the physical body of a female, it resonated more with the female light, which is earth, the light body. So, uh, you know, that's that's uh, earth, that's the earth banger. That's the earth bringer right there. So it brings in stability, construct, and ways that we can use in it and uh, scheduling and things of that nature. Now we got the air bringer. Now this is going to shock a lot of people. The air bringer is Moses. That's right, Moses. Now the Moses that y'all are that that y'all know inside the Bible, it goes way deeper. The story goes way further than that. Even before the ancient Egypt, where they think they discovered Moses. And Moses, I want you to do your research even on Moses with an I. M-O-S-I-S. -S. Now, um, you know, Moses is the uh, air bringer. Now, this is the, the the physical representation that's close to us is the, the Octaurus star. The Octaurus star. The A-R-C-T-U-R-U-S. That's the physical representation light body of that spirit of the Moses spirit now when you do your research on this what you're gonna read what you're gonna realize is the Moses story itself was based on um, X was based on Exos Moses at e uh, what Exomosis huh Exomosis is well, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it wrong E X O M O S I S you know when the uh, when the uh, blood cells or something travel within your membrane or something like that that's what the actual Moses story is about and the actual movie Osmosis Jones the movie Osmosis Jones so uh, yeah you go do your research you're gonna be able to understand that a little better uh, but for the most part everything is just stories that's reiterated when you look at all Marvel comic stories these are all just Greek mythologies reiterated we even when you look at um, and Mesotapians and things of that nature even when you look at the, the the names of the stars and things of that nature this is what they're back to support about this is why it's important to understand frequency vibrations and energies because you'll be able to dis decipher who's trying to take the shape and form of something and make it be seen in their way and what's the actual frequency of what's their point to because everything comes from shit outside of us so we we all have access to understand these things on the same level you just have certain people come here that have a certain understanding or doctrine about it that they created and then they indoctrinate other a bunch of other people in it but the actual information that they're talking about they didn't actually create it that shit came from somewhere not them they were they was born here just like you you see what I'm saying? So you have to understand frequency vibrations and, and spiritual beings that then took bodies that was here that preceded you. And these informations that man is just trying to decipher and come up with their own best way of understanding these things. My channel ain't about that. My channel is about just telling you where the frequency vibrations came from. And your, your religion can't even tell you that. You see what I'm saying? And it ain't my basic idea. Because you understand the way I explain it, you understand it because it's something that we do every day. It's not something we're lost in, something somebody trapped you in, something that is just something we do every day. Now, yeah, so that's that's the uh, the air bringer, you know, um, and it, it represents the intellect. And, you know, the, the back and support constellation of this is Boots, the Boots constellation. So when you go do all your research on the Boots constellation, that'll give you a better um, understanding of the Octaurus star and and what kind of uh, what kind of energies that they're bringing in the air element. Um and notice how they all show characteristics of the constellations that's being filtered, how we can receive it. Same way the water barriers, be it through Aquarius, but Aquarius constellation is fixtured of an air, aka men like, real men like being, women like being, pouring out water, aka riding up, being able to uh, inform you or have intellect on the emotions and feelings in some way, shape, or form, and may get lost in their own feelings. This is why Aquarius may be in to uh, be more individualistic than Libras and um, Aquarius. I mean, uh, Libras and Gemini. Uh, that means they're more in their feelings, aka they're more in their own thoughts that they think is thoughts, but it's their feelings a lot of times. Um, same way, fire, but it's a fucus or the serpent barrier. Uh, so it's the snake. It, it holds in this, um, the spiritual nature and how to how to conduct the spirit in physical forms, which is utilizing all your snake forms, either either your sperm uh, when you have sex, or all for all your physical forms of snakeness is uh, tied to um, 
tied to your spiritual nature in some way, shape, or form. Because it was the first is one of the first vessels that a spirit can take, whether it's uh, light, sound, uh, gas, molecule, bacteria, you know, uh, sperm cell, whatever. It's just these are first bodies, lights, energies that that can take to control to start experiencing. So it can experience bigger life or more physical life. Now, um, you got to get that clear too. People who are too religiously indoctrinated, to the, they can't see it no other way. Um, you know, and the, uh, you know that's that was raised by Chiron. This is why the asteroid Chiron hills um, and things of that nature. I'm gonna do a whole series on asteroids because y'all, I don't think people know how important asteroids is. Um, but yeah, that did yeah, that. That's pretty much everything. Yeah, the uh, air is Moses, but it's correlated to the boots. The boots, and when you look at the boots constellation, you see that it's, it's communicating with the two dogs, the two canes, and this is the form of the two animals. See, all, all this come from the stars. Once we get lost and say Moses had to go leave and get two of every end, we start getting lost and shit. The, where it actually came from is the the, the, the garter, the gardener, the motherfucker who, who, who know how to communicate and receive information from its, its cells. But then when it get played out physically, it'll play out in a man with two dogs as in a bigger life in the constellation then when it once it comes to our life it's forms of how we can communicate so this taught us how to communicate with lesser life forms even in our lives see that that was an air bringer a air uh, a air barrier that brought that here you know what I'm saying which was the boots constellation um this and you have the uh, Australia which is the earth the earth barrier which will 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 be perceived as uh, Virgo, you know, uh, water barrier, which will be perceived as Aquarius, and you know, it all holds uh, concepts to what's actually going on. You know, the Earth barrier is a person that that can hold with whole life, whole life. When you look at Earth, Earth what holds life? Every 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 organ, every planet, every star don't hold life. That's not their job. The same way your lungs ain't holding life. It's a life of its own, but it doesn't hold life. It's doing other shit. See what I'm saying? Same way you have to, that's why you have to separate the sun and the planets. They all stars in their own right. Um, but yeah, that's just, that's just breaking, breaking shit down. Make sure I ain't missing no points. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was writing shit down, but yeah, Lucifer, Lucifer is the is the most powerful bringer because it, it know how to travel freely. Now, if Lucifer travel, tra so it's traveling through all of us, and now this could go in two ways based upon our spirits because this is our ancestor, so we listen to this spirit a lot of times. You see what I'm saying? But it's, it can go two ways based upon your spirit. You can either be lost into an illusion, or it can help you see what's actually going on within the illusion. Now this this is based upon your spirit, how, how strong spiritually you are. But that's the two ways it'll work once you get in get inhabited by the Lucifer spirit. But you always get inhabited by just waking up taking sunlight, you get inhabited by the Lucifer spirit. See what I'm saying? The the spirit that's in the sun right now, that motherfucker still get utilized by the Lucifer spirit from time to time. Just to keep bringing light. Just just for that motherfucker not to even fly off. Just to have the ideas to stay in the rotation that it's in. See what I'm saying? It's carrying that concept. Lucifer be controlling like whole whole galaxy. A whole galaxy for real though. When we talk about the other barriers, they control little shit within the shit. Lucifer is a powerful ass spirit. It doesn't it don't even know how to take it know how, but it doesn't get lost in a certain light. So you just got to rephrase your mind and thinking things of that nature. So, you know, flight boss, bitch, goddamn air.